consonant and the vowel, a tale of two letters, an adventure set in Alphabetera, a name that means letterland. Part 2. This book is packed with the alphabet. Do you remember Part 1? There were no words in Alphabetera. A giant forest of empty pages stood between the consonants in the east and the vowels in the west. But then, up then the vowel said, it is time to explore the forest. And Stella, the consonant said, I must see what is on the other side of this forest. As soon as the two letters had spoken, magical pages with fancy arrows appeared to point a way to go. The forest had no words, but could provide nice graphics. From the west, Stella took the first step toward the east. From the east, Upton took the first step toward the west. Every journey begins with a single step. They walked right into the forest and followed the path of arrows as it twisted and turned and led them out of sight. The other consonants on Stella's side and the other vowels on Upton's side watched them walk away. When they could not see them anymore, they freaked out. What if they got lost? They were important members of the alphabet. Luckily, Quintessa of the consonants had an idea. On the other side, Omar of the vowels had the same idea. The arrows were still on the path. They would follow them and make sure Stella and Upton were okay. Before anyone could say no, Omar and Quintessa said, hurry up while the arrows are still fresh. And off they all went, wondering what a stale arrow might look like. Actually, magical arrow pages don't go stale. They're magical. Have you ever seen a stale unicorn? What happens next? You'll have to wait for part three, but we can tell you there will be cool special effects, an awesome ending we dare not show you yet, and we won't see much of Zed the Z because he'll be sleeping. But his sister Zelda will be around. She can't have any sugar. Thanks for watching. Consonant and the Vowel is available at zingbrain.com, also available through Amazon.